Okay, this is gonna be a little experiment. It's my keypad. Now, you've probably seen it like in movies and I think it was a mechanic in some of the Splinter Cell video games where I like to see what, you know, someone typed in the keypad. You use the thermal imager like you see right now. So let's see if that would work. And I think it would because even just touching that lightly. So here we go. Kind of, but it's, it actually disappears pretty quick. Matter of fact, it's pretty much gone now. Because if you remember, like, from those movies or the games, like, you know, you'd wait for, you know, someone to enter the code. Then you'd go in, like, try to see which ones. You know, what, which ones were the hottest? What was the last one? Next. But that doesn't really seem like the case. Because already three is sort of fading away. But, that's just one type of keypad. I wish I had the other types, but... Here, let's do something here. Okay, here's the entry system here. You can already see the keys are pretty warm. So let's see. Now remember, everything is different. One environment may be different. Yeah, see, in this, this case. I mean, in this case, you don't even see anything since it's already so warm. It's not showing anything. So yeah, but again, remember, you know, everything's different. Like, it might be in a cold environment or in a really warm environment, like that one was. So, you never know. If I have more, if I get more alarm keypads, I'll try it with those too. So, there you go. Just a little, kind of like a myth busting thing. Matter of fact, I'm surprised they never tried that on Mythbusters. But, there you go, folks.